Hi everybody, welcome to activity 7.1. And this week you only have one activity this, to do this week, um, but it's a little bit different. Um, this week is gonna be a little bit more of a self-directed or self-guided study. Let me give you a little bit of background information on what I'd like you to do this week. So this week we're starting uh, our new unit, which is a literature unit on this novel called A Long Walk to Water by Linda Sue Park. It's a fantastic novel. It takes place in a country called South Sudan. And even though the novel itself is fiction, it's based on a lot of research that the author has done about the culture and his history and geography of, of South Sudan. But it's really important to have an understanding of the setting of the book before you start reading so that you can understand some of the things that happen to the char main character. Now, if you have been coming in for hybrid classes in person, last week we already started looking a little bit at some of the setting of the book of South Sudan and learning a little bit about that. But this week, for both um, hybrid and online students, I'm going to ask you to extend that knowledge by doing some research of your own. So let me explain what you're going to be doing today um, and, and this uh, throughout this whole week. Um, the first thing to do is, uh, of course, watch this video. And then the next thing after that is I'm going to ask you to check your email. So go into your Gmail inbox and look for a message from me that came on Monday morning. Monday, October 5th at 8 o'clock a.m. And um, an easy way to, to filter it out is if you just go up to the search bar along the top and just type in my email address, pnielsen at rcsnm.org and hit enter, it'll show you just emails you've gotten from me, which might help you narrow it down if you can't find it. But um, that message, it says communications week seven background research in the subject line. And that email is going to tell you how many research activities I would like you to complete this week. So for some of you, I'm expecting a little bit more, and for some of you, I'm giving you a little bit less to do. So it's important that you check that email so you know how many activities I'm assigning to you. The next thing I want you guys to do is click on this background research menu right here to open it up. And this menu gives you a whole bunch of different options for researching the context or the setting of this book. And you can see here there's four different choices that let you research the history, then four for geography, four for culture, and four for current events of, of South Sudan, which is where this book takes place. So depending on the number that I'm assigning to you, I'm going to ask you to choose that number from here, and you get to choose um, to complete. So some of you will be choosing three of them, and then I'd like you to choose um, three different ones from three different rows that, um, that appeal to you. Um, if I ask you to do two, then choose any two from here. Um, make sure they're in a different row from each other. And if I just asked you to complete one activity, then choose any one activity from this whole board. And then you're going to follow the directions that are in that box and complete the activity. Okay, now let me exit out of this and come back to the distance learning site. One thing um, that you should uh, be aware of is that you are welcome to complete each activity either on paper or on digitally on computer. And so to help you see what the difference between that would be, it, I've actually created an example of each of those. So I've actually gone through and I've chosen one of these activities that is um, that I created on paper, hard copy, and then I took a picture of it to post it in Seesaw. That was this one right here, and I'll show you that in a second. And then I also chose one, um, this Venn diagram one down here that I did on the computer. So depending on what you're more comfortable with um, for your activities, you can do them either hard copy and take a picture, or you can try and create the whole thing digitally. So it's up to you. Let me show you the examples that I created. I'm going to go down here for a minute to Seesaw. And I would highly recommend that you go into Seesaw before you start your, this project and take a look in your groups, uh, in your communication groups blog to take a look at the examples that I created. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to blog in the communications group. And you'll see here that the top two posts are examples that I created. So this one here is a Venn diagram that's comparing and contrasting the Nuer and the Dinka tribes. Um, showing some things that are similar about them and things that are different about them. And then you can see at the bottom are the sources that I used for that. Um, if you go down a little bit further, you can see um, these are the ones that I made 
um, hard copy. I actually made them on actual flashcards and then took pictures of them. And then I used Seesaw, the, the submit work through a photo um, uh, choice in Seesaw to submit them. So you can see, you can scroll through and see the 10 different flashcards that I made about the Sudanese um, Civil War. Okay, so you can choose either method to create your product that you're making. Um, and if you're somebody who's making two or three projects, you could do some of them one way, like one of them hard copy and two of them on the computer. It's up to you how you do those, okay? What I am gonna ask you to do, and it's in the directions here, is um, we, we've talked about click on the background research menu. Number four here is complete each activity either digitally or hard copy. Um, We'll look at the list of suggested sources and background research rubric in a second, but let me go down here. It says here, submit each activity as a post in Seesaw. Note, be sure that to note that this, the sources that you used for each activity somewhere on your work. Okay, so you saw that I have already done an example of that. But you guys, when you come in to Seesaw, this is how you're going to submit your your project, each, each piece that you've done, whether it's one, two, or three different things. You're going to submit them in Seesaw this week. Rather than Google Classroom, you're going to do them in Seesaw. So you come up, come up to Seesaw to Communications, click on the Journal icon, click on the green Add button, and then Post Student Work. Or actually for you, I think if you click on the green Add button, it will just take you right here. And then this is the place where you can choose. If you have made your project on a hard copy, you click on Photo and then take a picture of your, um, just like you would do in science for your like lab notes or anything like that. Um, if you made it as a hard copy of something, or I mean a digital copy of something, like maybe you made a, made it in Google Slides or a Google Doc, here is where you would do that. You would click upload and then you would select that file. If you're ever having trouble this week sharing the, the project that you made with me in Seesaw and you're having a hard time getting that file in here, just send me an email and I'd love to help you get it turned in. But that's the way you're going to turn in all of your pieces, whether it's one, two, or three. Okay? Now, let's just go back to this for a second. And it says to help you while you're doing your research this week, check out the list of suggested sources and, and also the background research rubric. The rubric is going to help you know how, how I'll grade it. Okay, so here's the list of suggested sources. I'm going to click on that and it'll open up. Now, you guys, you are not limited to these 10 uh, websites here. Some of them are um, encyclopedia entries. Some of them are, um, one of them is like a PowerPoint slides presentation. Um, some of them are video clips. These are all places you can start for research, but you're definitely welcome to find your own sources online as well. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of a start to help you um, researching South Sudan. So that's the list of suggested sources. Down here is the rubric that I'll use to grade each piece that, I've, that, you, that you created. So um, whichever one you choose, this um, look at the row that you chose from. So for example, if you choose um, an activity from the history row, then look at this row right here, the history row. And I would say, look at the four points, right? Student has thoroughly researched and clearly understood the given aspect of Sudan's history. Knowledge of this history is clearly evidenced in the product. The product is very um, thorough, neat, and well-designed and well-written. Product shows exceptional effort. So there's four points, three points, two points, one point. So I'll use that row to grade a history one and then geography, culture, current events. So you can look at this for a better description of the things that I'm looking for when you make your project. Okay, so that is what you're gonna be working on this week. It's the only activity, but you can work on it all throughout the week. Please email me if you have any questions and have a great day.